Hello everyone and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. In the last session, we began our side quest cleanup of all the side quests in the game, aside from cars and fights. And uh, we decided that we will focus on clearing out like uh, uh, an area at a time, just so we can see some more clear progress happening on the map as we clear out areas. So, first one, right around the corner. Let's go. Let's see if we can get three down in this part. Oh god, I hate driving this fucking car. Why am I in it? Why am I in it? Give me back my bike. I'm always like, ah, maybe it'd be fun to give this another whirl. And it's never fun. You know what? You know what? Fuck. Fuck the car. Fuck the car. That is what I think of you. Even better. God, who's... Who's mad that I blew up my own car? It's my car, I'll do what I like with it. Fuck you. And it's a magic car, because even though it's dead, I can summon it right on back if I want. <laughs> Extracted out of NC Prime. Oh shit. Or else it's his funeral. Need me a decent driver who won't shit their pants when things get hairy. What do you think? Check the spec. Uh, Sixth Street. Hate those bastards. Sixth Street got shaken up on an internal coup. With an internal coup, the boss took a bullet in the back of the head. The guy who filled his shoes was the same who pulled the trigger. They call him Gunner. New boss man has unleashed a purge to rid the gang of all people loyal Bombing to the last chief. Patriotic bullshit all day. Act like fucking animals. My client, Flavio, is next in line to get shot and very much would like to not be shot. Already struck a deal with the nomads who agreed to ship him to the other coast. All we have to do is escort Flavio to the place their guide will pick him up. Little problem to note, there's already a price on our friend's head, so he's got to watch it. Sending you cords of where Flavio's hold up. You need to get there, load him into your ride and deliver to the nomads ASAP. Keep your iron at the ready, and don't forget to always check your mirrors. Night 6th Street gave him a death sentence, so any tails on his ass are likely to be hot. Should I get a car then, instead of, uh, instead of my bike, maybe? Doesn't want to turn up. Okay. Uh, well, I mean... I guess we kill them from afar. Because <laughs> they're not going to be big fans of us just strolling on in, are they? Okay. Oh no. Oh, I'm an idiot. On the plus side, there is no 55 here that leads to an E9, so I would have been an idiot regardless. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Where even is an E9? There. God damn it. Ping. Ah! Oh! I forgot we can do this. Much better. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you for telling me that. That has made my life infinitely, infinitely better. And then we kill them all! Woo! Is that all of them? Are they all dead? Is it only those four? Ding dong. Uh, nice car. Why is it there though? Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll take it. Alright, where is this guy? Is he upstairs? Three? Beelzebub's tales to his grandson. Even before our arrival, many beings in Babylon had lost their minds over this subject, while many others were inching closer to the same fate. The burning question of the day, the question that racked the brains of both pitiful scientists and normal beings of Babylon was this, do we have a soul or not? There were all sorts of the most fantastic theories on this subject, with new ones appearing all the time, and each and every one of the tempting hypotheses had its supporters. Despite the overwhelming number and diversity of these beliefs, they were all based on one of two completely opposing premises. The first was called atheism, while the other was idealism or dualism. All dualistic hypotheses held the soul existed and of course that it was immortal and could suffer many things even after the death of the being. Meanwhile, the atheistic theories held the complete opposite view. In short, my boy, when we came to Babylon, we came upon what could only be called constructing the Tower of Babel. Dubai, sand and death. I heard a troubling click. My Geiger counter, may it rest in peace. I stood on a glass surface, some parts smooth as ice, others cracked and jagged. The earth I walked on was formed from melted sand after a thermonuclear bomb detonated here. One of the five that fell on Dubai. Five? Who nukes Dubai five times? One would be enough. I recalled old stills from the end of the 20th century. Skyscrapers like crystal obelisks touching the sky. Supercars, palm trees. Now, nothing. Like a surreal frozen sea blanketed by the irradiated dust of the Arabian Peninsula and glinting under the desert sun. But nearby, in the city's former suburbs, life continues on. Difficult, brutal, cutthroat, but life nonetheless. Few dare venture outside without a hazmat suit, makeshift or otherwise. Any sort of dwelling must be built with concrete walls measuring at least 13 feet thick and without a single window. This offers survival, yes, but to what end? Unlike in the corporate haven of New Dubai erected deeper into the, the Arabian Gulf, the average life expectancy in Old Dubai is a mere 30 years. Still, some have found advantages to life here. No visitors, neither Netwatch nor any corporate special forces unit will deploy here. This land of glass and dust has become the asylum for some of the world's most wanted criminals. Some say they're only biding their time until an early death delivers them to hell. Some say they're already there. Ooh. Oh, what's this? Hey, that's your tomb, isn't it? Think he's alive. Fuckers like that always land on their feet. Hey, bro. Hey, you hear me? Boy. Huh? Oh, fuck. Sixth Street, they. I know. Flavio, right? That you? Yeah, oh, you've got to, you've got to get me out of here. What happened? What the hell happened? All you had to do was sit on your ass, quiet, alone. Yeah, yeah, but just wanted to say goodbye to the city, you know. So I ordered some girls, some boosters. What, you thought nobody would notice? Calling half the hookers in the city and nobody will bat an eye. Okay, okay. I fucked up. <laughs> I know. The fucks it matter now. We have to go. That is a lot of hookers, man. You must have had a great time right before they all got murdered. You don't say. Fine, we're out. <clears throat> Ow. Oh, shit. Cars in the garage. Oh, take me there. Meow. Um. You've got the quartz. 
<laughs> Got him. Uh, okay. Shit. I just wanted a little fun. Quick griping. You're alive. Unlike the girls. That is fucking hilarious. What the hell, V? You think you can just duck out and go back like nothing happened? This ain't a visit to your senile fucking cramps or something. You're not going to surprise them a second time. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, it's hilarious. It's actually hilarious. Return to car, but it's, we're, we're there, aren't we? Yeah, when I get in the car, it tells me to get out the car and walk down there, you fucking... You fucking game. What are you doing? I shouldn't... I, it's not a place you drive into, is it? It's like in here. It's got the walk symbol. I guess it did want me to drive there. Hey! Hey! Over here! Where is the client? In the back, bleeding out. Shit! If he dies, I don't get paid. Not my problem. I did my part. Okay. We are going to Very order, callous. Okay? A few minutes away. Will you hang in there? Uh, no choice. What, wait, why are you doing? What are you over here for? Why? What? Why are you not back in the car? Now that's what I call pro merc work. Flavio's yapping my ears off. Says he's never met anyone tougher than. No, you. no, he's not. He's right here. And it's gonna stay that way for a while. Rare breed mercs like you. Contracts closed. I'll already flick the ads your way. But, but he's he's right here. I'm sending the coordinates of a vehicle that went dark near to where you are now. Thanks, I'll try to find it and reset. Uh, sure. Epistrophe Rancho Coronador. Where is it? Oh, there. Man, that is so weird. That is so weird. <laughs> that he... First of all, that he bugged out and was on top of the... Or, like, standing up in the car as we were driving. And then that he gets out and comes with me when the dude thinks he's taking him away. Ah, oh, you know what? I think this is for the best, man. Wait, I can't aim at him? Aw, oh, come on. Wow. Okay. Spoiling my fun. How dare. How dare! Oh, that was a fancy looking car. That thing had six wheels. And we just went past. Boop to you too. The nasty scrap broke out at a construction site. Dude responsible is heavily ironed. He'd be a great candidate for psycho study if you end this thing with him alive. Sending you the details. Cheers. You know, I didn't realize I'd gone to the wrong place. Gonna be honest. I guess we'll just do this one now while we're here. 
One of the workers went psycho, started smashing up the construction site. Seems some of the workers tried to stop him, but their little poly one-shots couldn't pierce that exoskeleton of his. Anyway, they either ran or got added to the construction, if you catch my drift. Go check it out. For some reason, I thought this was the, uh... Is that him? Is that the guy? Welp. Wait, there's two people? Oh wait, that guy, target is immune. Why is target immune? To suicide. Weird. Well, I think that's the Cyber Psycho, right? He looks more crazy. Wait, are they both Cyber Psychos? Quit your crying. Let me be plain. You've been in this biz long enough to know it's a rough way to make a living. This job should... Hard to read that? Toughen you up? What is, what is this fucking effect going across the screen right now? Cut the bullshit. Pay or your head will explode. I... Sup, bro. Doesn't look good. I gotta say, that Mary of yours sure has a head on her shoulders. She got you here at the last possible moment. Your body's rejecting the implants and no wonder. It's not ready for them. They're military grade. You can't use them without proper training. Christ, they're not for civilian use at all. I can give you a script for painkillers, but don't forget, the pain is your body's way of warning you. If you ignore it and keep using that chrome, you could cause permanent damage to your spine. You might be able to take off that exoskeleton now, but if you break your spine, you'll never move on your own again. Rip. Uh, search the area and collect information. Send a crew. One of my workers went cyber psycho thanks to your fucking exoskeleton. He's out here destroying the whole building. My life's work. Either you send a quick response crew to dispose of him, or I'll have to call the police. And hey, I wouldn't want the NCPD on my ass asking questions neither of us want me to answer. Managed to take the Cyber Psycho alive, though he sure put up a fight, sending you the deeds. Really glad you got him alive. Poor guy almost completely spiralled out before he even realised what was happening. Guess even pneumatic arms can't lift morale in a toxic workplace. Uh, wait. Is that the reply? I think that's the reply. My, my, now that's some creative management. Uh, seems this de developer has no problem creating a wide range of business needs and solutions. I'm sure his long-standing connections with weapon dealers, the NCPD, and other shady souls help enormously. And if a certain need isn't great enough, well, there's always the usual solutions of arm twisting and knee capping. The key to success remains flexibility, especially the moral sort. All right. Hang on, is it going to keep that fucking Chase Coley thing at the top of my screen? What is it with this game and UI elements bugging out? Oh, hey. Yes, please. Uh, okay. You see them turn, don't you? The curve in their beaks. It hides something. Something insidious. Uh, 
Uh, that was unexpected. Let's track that. Chase Coley, get off my fucking screen, dickhead. You're dead, mate. Well, not dead, but, you know. Taken out. Flamingos? What the fuck? What the fuck? What are you on about? <laughs> okay, let's go down here first then. What? Like, shoot them, or...? Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh... Ah. Ow, what just hit me? Oh, shit. We don't play nice with the crazy. What the fuck? I can't believe shooting a couple of flamingos just put about a million dudes onto me that deal half my health with a single bullet. That's nuts. Is there another one here? Why is it still pointing me here? It's pointing me here like there's another flamingo to kill, but I don't think there is. I don't want to go up close and personal with those guys again. Ride around looking for the Divergent Delamain now. It just went past here, so it's probably doing the same loop ish. Or oh, wait. Well, Clarice, have the flamingos stopped screaming? Perhaps I ought to return after all. I need support. Where Only is it? one with chaos within can give birth to a dancing star. Clarice? Shut down. Uh, okay. I don't know where that was. I've just re-established contact with the missing vehicle. Splendid work, V. 
first class. I shall forward a share of your fee. Nice. That's six out of seven. One to go. Cool, cool. Also, have we done four jobs so far this part? That's a fucking record. It's either three or four. We've done a lot. Uh, that is... Stadium Love. See what's going on, okay? Hey, how's it hanging? The Patriots of 6th Street. When I think about the best the new United States has to offer, it's the men and women of 6th Street who I see in my mind's eye. All night citizens recognize the name, but it's the residents of Vista Del Rey who owe a lot to 6th Street. A lot, if not everything. There was a time when entrepreneurs of all varieties tried their luck in the neighborhood, but most wound up any less than hungry. Cab drivers, mechanics, shopkeepers, small businesses fell right and fell right and left in the total economic devastation that arrived in the wake of the fourth corporate war. As larger corporations like Arasaka expanded their business into the area, local franchises saw their customer pool dry up. Nascent gangs seized control of the streets, terrorizing residents on such a scale that even police intervention proved a useless endeavor. But then they began to appear, professional soldiers returning home to, to, to Vista from tours of duty. Though they expected to return to the sound of children's laughter in the streets and the sumptuous smell of freshly grilled Scott burgers, they were instead shocked and disheartened by the chaos and destruction that greeted them. And yet their will could not be broken. Like true blooded Americans, they took matters into their own hands. They stockpiled Militech weaponry, trained their neighbours as they had been trained, and exacted their revenge on the scattered brutal gangs that savaged their home. So formed the 6th Street Paramilitary Company. Whites, blacks, Latinos and Native Americans together, in arms, patrolling the streets of Night City, together. Together in arms, patrolling together, ah yes, writing. A unified force demonstrating what it means to be a patriot. Their enemies spread baseless slander of theft and smuggling, but they are resilient in both con constitution and belief, proud, young and eager for a future, when the states once again stand united. They await the day someone will bring America from its knees, just as they have done with Vista Del Rey. Written by one of the members of the 6th Street, <laughs> quite clearly. Who you fight for? Not you, you fucking weirdo. Listen up! Gunner wants y'all to want. have a good time! Is that a trick question? Good fucking this is time. a party, right? Invitation only. For those who bleed red, white, and blue. So fuck off. Chill, just wanna have some fun. Chill. Just wanna have a good time. Drink a beer, smoke. This looked like a fucking neighborhood picnic to you? Chum, you're a little tense. Something wrong? Problems at home? <laughs> oh, you're a jokester, huh? You looking for a good laugh? Yeah, we all want a good laugh, Walker. Such a nice day, everyone having a good time. Like a little 4th of July. Be a shame to tell Gunner someone fucked it up, you know? Yeah, I know. Fine. That's my tomb. Go drink, enjoy yourself. Celebrate that decent score of yours. Having yourselves a competition? I want in. You got some kind of competition going on? Yeah. Lead spitting kind. I want in. Shit out of luck. We're about to call it. What? You scared I'd leave you all in the dust? Do you know who you're fucking talking to? Hmm? I've been deployed three times. Three! I fought on the front lines. Easy, Walker. What'd I say, huh? We're just here to have a good time. We got something to prove. Be our guest. <laughs> It'll be fun. What are the rules? And the rules of the game? Now this ain't your average shooting match. You gotta have a good eye, but an even stronger head. Because? Because we all drink around before each shot. To Gunner, the new boss in town. I like the sound of that. Anything else I should know? Four stations. You shoot at the targets with Holt's face in the time limit. The more bootlickers you pop, the better. High score so far belongs to Walker. 43 points. You beat him, prize is yours. I mean, let's shoot this shit out of Holt. Just as I thought. You look to me like a show-off. 
Let's see what you got. Take this revolver. Use it if you want your shots to count. We're testing skill, not tech here. Go ahead to the first station. We'll start whenever you're ready. Break a leg. This revolver? All right. Well, come on, drink. Where are the actual targets going to be coming up? Yeah. Twelve seconds. Go. No, 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 no. Just don't go past the line when shooting. Automatic disqualification. Okay, we got them all just about. Looking pretty lost, punk. Looking like a bitch, prick. Hey, hey, vodka first. Then you blast hold a new one. Okay. I'm telling you, man. The breeze. Whoosh. Throw it all off. What the hell is this? Rubbing Who alcohol? cares? Shoot! You got 12 seconds! You cross that line and shoot, you're out of the game. But, but I said my fingers slip. You had your chance, Judy. Fucking fair. And stop! Next station! Okay. We're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. What the hell? The next one's all the way over there. They're gonna... You got 12 seconds! Go, go, go! Hey, throw that line! We don't like cheaters here! Stop, last station! Not bad, not bad. What? Combat? What? Why? Someone over there? The fuck? What is going on? I'm not in any combat, motherfucker. I'm doing a quest, and you're not involved. One more round. Drink. What the fuck is occurring here? Hello? Can I drink? Thank you. Ugh, so warm. What else would it be in this heat? Shoot! Twelve seconds. Don't forget the line! One toe over and you're gone! Time's up. That's it. Go check your stats. Easy. Easy, mate. It is un putito. Why are people getting so fucking leery about this? <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> I'm just trying to do a quest, man! Oh shit, okay. Huh. Nailed it. Okay, I can't move. Hello? There we go. Weird. First place by a landslide. Here, won it fair and square. The hell? Not fucking possible. Get right. Not gonna lie, I'm impressed. You know, Six Street could use a few more shooters like you. I'm sure, Gunner'd like to meet you. Take you under his wing, probably. <laughs> Gunner can jump off a mega building. Let's not antagonize when there's like 50 of them around us. I'm flattered, really, but I gotta say no. Not for me. Understood. We had a little fun today. Drank together. 
But I see you on the street later, it won't make no difference. You're either with us or against us. I'll keep that in mind. And for the winner, with Gunner's congratulations. Woohoo! And USA! And USA! And now, let's drink! Sixth Street! Sixth Street! <laughs> well, they're all having an exceedingly normal one. What the fuck? You're joking! You're joking that they instantly turn on you. Job failed? I'm sorry, what? Uh, pardon me? I just beat it. Where's it even go? Does it just go to the top of this list? I literally completed it. The job had ended. My objective had changed to play it safe. And I then jumped up to leave. They all start attacking me and then it says failed. Even though it had already been completed successfully. This fucking game, man, I swear. Has so much garbage in it. A lot of good. A lot of garbage. What the fuck just hit me? I'll just get run over. There's no cars here. What? Ah. Fucking game. Okay. Uh, let's see. What did we get? This revolver we don't give a fuck about. Oh, good. Now it's doing the thing where I can't go into my inventory. My god. I scream. Uh, well, the Saratoga is actually better than the Divided We Stand. However, the Saratoga is not, uh, smart. And there's only ten in it. So I'll go with that. And the rest can stay. Uh, 31, 34, 34, better. Looks stupid. 108.8. 114.9. Wow, getting the full biker aesthetic, I guess. 48.58. Lovely. 50.9. 56.8. for Johnny's shoes. Oh, to spend a day in the shoes of a legend. Oh, yes. Thanks, Johnny. I wonder if you can find the rest of his outfit somewhere. Wait, why is that still? Don't know why that's coming up with a exclamation mark. Probably another bug. That would be shocking, that. A bug? In this game? Surely not. Surely not. Okay. Solid stuff. Got a lot done today. And by today I mean this part. Oh my god. Good night. Um. Um. Okay. Sure. <laughs> sure. Who knows what the fuck's going on with this game? Who the fuck knows? Where are we going next? That's all done. There is a ripper dock down there. Oh well. Over there. Cool. Sounds cool. Moving swiftly on. <laughs> 